Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I am going to go over the schedule for 2020 for the Chicago White Sox in their abbreviated 60-game season. Now, I want to give credit where credit's due. The idea for this video was um, given to me by watching a video by Hum Baby Baseball, who is a, um, I mean, he does a lot of baseball, but it's, he, his focus is the San Francisco Giants. And he did a similar video to the one I'm about to do about the um, San Francisco Giants. And it is a very entertaining video. I 100% uh, um, recommend you go check it out. Um, you'll be, I mean, it's, it's great. Um, and I will put a link to his um, channel down in the description uh, for this video. Uh, but without any further ado, let's get on with talking about the White Sox schedule. So up on the board here, you can see the uh, July and August and September schedules. Um, July, of course, you know that the season starts on July 24th. So um, the first three games up here at the top of the July-August calendar are um, uh, preseason games. We'll see if those actually even end up happening. But when you get to the 24th, you can see right here, this is the start of the season. And we open again at home against Minnesota. And then we have three against Cleveland. Then we have uh, the 30th off. And then we have three against Kansas City. And then we got a home and home against uh, Milwaukee, two on the road against Milwaukee, and then two at home against Milwaukee. And um, I mean, this schedule, I could go through the whole thing, but it's basically what you would expect. The, the White Sox play the AL Central, which they would any year anyway. They play the Chicago Cubs, which they would any year anyway. And um, they... Um, and, and then that's basically it. I mean, you know, and then they play, well, then they play the central division of the NL. So that's why you've got the Milwaukee's in there and you've got the, um, you know, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, and so this is not, um, I mean, because if you go watch the uh, Hum Baby Baseball about the San Francisco schedule, he's... <laughs> He's of the mind that they have a very rough schedule, and they do. Um, but uh, the White Sox aren't quite at the point where San Francisco is. They're a little further down the road. But I think they're at that phase right now, whereas we're a little further along. Our young talent has started already started to come up to the uh, major league level. And some of it has some experience. Some of the players, some of the young players already have some experience and are going to build on that. And the ones that don't quite have the experience yet, this is the perfect type of a season to get that experience. In a short season where players may be shuttled in and out um, for various reasons, various obvious reasons. So, um, you know, it's, it's what you would expect. There's a lot of Detroit, there's a lot of Minnesota, there's a lot of Kansas City. Now, it, and what makes it good is that we've got games against the Pirates in the other in, in the uh, National League. We have games, a lot of games against Detroit, who's not going to be very good. We have games against um, the uh, the Kansas City Royals, who again um, they'll be better than Detroit, but they're not going to be that good, and they shouldn't be anywhere near as good as the White Sox. You like that? You like that? Will be. You've got games against Cleveland, and Cleveland, you know, they have a decision to make, um, you know, on Lindor and some other players, possibly. So I even heard that they might deal, um, that they were in talks to deal uh, Clevenger, potentially. I don't, who knows? But, um, so, you know, if stuff like that happens, then, you know, even Cleveland isn't going to be too much, you would think, not be too much of a problem. 
Um, where the issue comes is, and you know, and then and then of course we play the Cubs, but we would have played the Cubs any year, anyhow, um, as the cross league rivals. So, um, but the Cubs are still a pretty good, potent team. St. Louis should still be very good. Um, one thing that I think is very good right over here is you can see these three games here against Cincinnati. These look like the only three games that we're going to have against the Reds. I do like that because the Reds are an up and coming team and I think maybe even probably arrived potentially and could be a very good team this year. So they will be a, uh, they would have been, it would have been rough if we had had to play them uh, more than three times. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful and so are we. And, uh, you know, the only downside to it is we play them on the road. We don't play them at home. But still, only three times. So, you know, but Milwaukee, um, St. Louis, um, they're pretty good. They're, they're pretty good teams. Um, they're not going to be pushovers. But it's mostly, I mean, it's really mostly us playing our, it's mostly us playing teams that we would have played anyway. Our division and um, and the Cubs. So you eliminate those games. There's not a lot left. So um, I, so the schedule is what it is. I mean, if if you're going to say that this is a tough schedule, and I don't really think it is, um, you would also have to say that they would have had a tough schedule anyway in a reg in a regular season because they would have played almost all of these teams um, anyway. So. The irony of this is that um, had this been a regular season, the AL Central would have played the NL West, so we would have played San Francisco before. Now we don't. Uh, and the Central Division is probably a little better. Well, I don't want to say that. Uh, but anyway, uh, I was going to say that maybe the Central Division of the NL is, is better than the uh, Western, the NL West. but. That's not really necessarily true, um, because the Padres should play better than they have, um, and Arizona got Bumgarner, and you know, so and, and not to mention they weren't that bad anyway, and then they went out and got Bumgarner, and then of course L.A. is L.A. So, uh, so I don't want to really say that, but yeah, I mean this. This schedule, you can't really say too much bad about this schedule. Um, it is what it is, and it was going to be basically what it appears to be um, if you had to condense everything down to 60 games anyway um, and do it the way that they have to do it to get through the season. So, so that's that. Um, two other notes that I do want to throw out there, though. I don't know if you saw this, but Kopech is not expected to pitch this year. No, God, please, no, 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 no! Um, he has some kind of issue. It might be depression. It might be, it, who knows what it is, but whatever it is, he's not pitching this year. So, um, you know, we'll see. Again, we have pitching depth, so I'm not too worried that we'll, we're going to miss Kopech, but like I've said before, Kopech would have been potentially our like second best pitcher behind Giolito and potentially even better than Giolito. So it is quite a thing to be missing him. And then there's the other um, issue that who knows if the season's even going to happen because um, I have heard and you would see if you go over to the Hum Baby v Baseball video, he says that um, it's possible that there won't even be a season because too many players are potentially testing positive when they when the teams get on the move they might um you know whatever the issue is now with players not being able to play it could even get potentially worse once teams have to travel and play each other so that's also um a problem that could that could get bad enough that there's no season um, i've said before and i stand by it i think 
Major League Baseball should have just said, we're going to shut this down for this year, and we are not going to, um, you know, try to put square pegs in round holes. We'll just come back and attack it again in 2021. That's, in my opinion, that's what they should have done. They haven't decided to go in that route. And again, the reason is because they want the money. The players want the money and the owners want the money. So that's why they aren't going that route. But we'll see. So I hope you like that. Again, here's the schedule. You've been able to look at it. It is it is what it is, and it is what we would have expected based on how they had to do the 60-game schedule. So we will be talking to you later, but for right now, that's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.